What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And today I want to give a brief completion breakdown of Act 6 point, or not 6, 7.2, uh, Upset the Meta. So I just completed this today and I want to just give you a quick rundown of what paths I took that were the easiest for me and then which ones I think will be the easiest for most people. So starting with the 7.2.1 Wake Up, just jump into the quest really quick. Um, I think I chose to go to the left and both the easiest paths are here. So you have, I think, energy adoption ice here. So if you have a ghost, you can cheese that entire lane. Everything is super easy. I went for this path, which is villains gain an advantage. Uh, there's also power shield. So I just used apocalypse and magneto for it. It was a very easy path. And the boss, I chose Modok, but it wasn't the smartest because he has that node where he can place a disorient you after you block an attack. So it's a little bit annoying. So I really should have gone for the Mole Man in all, in, in all reality because I had Apocalypse and this is just an Apocalypse like fun fest right here. So that would have been good. And then I'd say go for the Magneto boss last because he probably is the most difficult to take down. So overall, I would say this path over here, this one is the easiest if you have Ghost. This one is the easiest just in general because you can just use your villains. And if you have a Magneto, the path's basically done for you. So. That's how I would do quest 7.2.1. Now we'll jump to 7.2.2. Just give me a second. It's called zoning. So I think this was, where is it? Say, so I went to the right here. I think this is generally the easiest path. It is power shield, life transfer. So you're gonna be degenerating the whole time in that you're not gonna be doing damage. So you're gonna get to like maybe 75% health. Throw off a special attack, you'll be back to 100% easily. I also used Apocalypse for this path, did him for the Black Widow. I used Sunspot for the long shot, used Apocalypse then for the rest of the entire path. And then the bosses over here. Tiger was the easiest, you just can't knock her down. So if you use like Human Torch, you're fine. Uh, this Guardian boss, I'd assume if you use a Corvus Glaive, it would be very, very easy, especially if you have a power booster because your special attacks do 400% damage and there is aggression armor. So he would just be having an easy time there. And then once again, the last boss I would go for is Magneto just because he's annoying for a lot of metal counters. So he's unblockable too. So it's just not a fun fight. It's the last boss I would go for. So 7.2.1 is very, or 7.2.2 is very easy. You just take that path and then go for the uh, Tigra or Guardian boss. So now we're going to go into 7.2.3, which is footsies. I think this is another great, yeah. I used the ghost cheese path because I didn't use it the first one for some reason. It's basically the same thing with energy adoption, ice and lightning. So you can just dash back, shrug off all the debuffs. So you only have a few cosmic champions on this path, but they're so easy. I was doing like 91K like separate hits of the special two. So it was very easy, this path, nah. So I think if you have ghost, just go for this path. The other easiest path would likely be this one so there's just vigor supercharge and mystic ward so you don't really want to use uh, mystic champions here or no wait yeah something with mystic champions don't use that um and you just it's an easy path the ones with the one star on those chests are really usually the easiest ones but if you can go for this one because it is very easy with ghosts so that'll do it for 7.2.3 Next, we're going to look at 7.2.4, which is Poke. Very weird names for these chapters, but, you know, it's okay. Um, so I went to the left. I think you always have to. And where did I go? Oh, uh, wait. Yes, this is the easiest one. You go to A. This is a path where they are stunned for the first 15 seconds. There's Flare and your XL champions are going to be used. So I just used Immortal Hulk and I got this path done in about like three minutes because you just do infinite medium combos and the whole thing's taken out. But you can use Hulkbuster, Call Obsidian, any XL champion I would just recommend highly in this fight. Even Apocalypse I think could do some work here. So then we look at the bosses. There is Man-Thing, uh, Mortal Abomination, and Nova. Man-Thing is probably the easiest. They're all kind of annoying, but at least Man-Thing you can use Immortal Hulk. Just don't use, you can use Human Torch, but it probably won't get the one shot because he has energy resistance. So other science champions that just use physical hits like Beardo, or you could use, um, like I said, Immortal Hulk. So Immortal Abomination maybe. Those are all good options. For the Immortal Abomination, you can use, use 
people that are immune to poison, so that's not that bad. And then Nova is just stupid annoying, so I haven't even looked at this one yet, but I'd assume you just use Doom or Claire, someone that can deal with that, maybe Magneto because he's metal. So just the easiest path is that XL path right here with the Falcon at the end and the Howard the Duck on the start, and just the Man-Thing boss is the easiest for, in my opinion. So with only two quests left, I wanted to get this done as quick as possible for you. So frame by frame is 7.2.5. Jump into here. And that will look at what path I did, which was it. I went to path C. Now this isn't what you want to do. This was a, I think it's that's going to sting. Yes. So if you don't have a power sting on your opponent, they are not going to be taking much damage. But I have a spider ham, so I just used him to cheese this lane. You could use Mr. Fantastic with synergies if you want. So then the easiest one would probably be this one. So Searching Vengeance, you just have to, the opponent uses their special attack in the order of 1, 2, 3. So if you have a Doom, you can just avoid them throwing special attacks at all. Or you can just try and kill them before they throw their specials. Or you can just try and tank their specials. But overall, not that hard of a path. And then we look at the bosses here. These are all kind of annoying bosses. For the Dragon Man, I used uh, Apocalypse, actually, because he was able to push him up to Special 2 pretty frequently, and since Apocalypse is such a tank, he could just take the block damage, and I was able to get almost a solo, but I just had to finish off with, uh, was it Spider Ham? This, what is it called, Platinum Pool boss, there was a lot of stuff on him, so I would not look at doing this one immediately, but maybe second or last, because he's kind of confusing with his nodes on himself, but with the nodes in 7.2, it's a little bit more confusing, so I think you could just use your standard good uh, mutant champion counters, so maybe like a Hulkbuster could work, Ghost would definitely work, because he's Ghost, but yeah, definitely hold that one off, and then this Void has safeguard so it's very annoying because you can't take off more than one percent health i definitely say to do this one last but you could use like uh nick fury with the bleeds or you could you just tough it out with stealth spite you just get those hundred hits down you're only going to do one percent of the time so those would be my options for this and then we move on to six no why i keep saying six seven point two point six the one with the gwen what is gwen master yes the gwen master boss so I took this path right here. There's Icarus, something else with like, if you dash back, you get uh, prowess on you. So I know Seton was doing this earlier and he used Angela and just absolutely shot the lane. I just used Corvus Glaive on it. Uh, there's an easy Gwen pool mini boss and then there's the Gwen master. So the Gwen master is very complicated. I can put up a full video explaining her in depth if you guys would want to see that. I'm currently working on a solo of her, just trying to get it done, but it's very annoying with all our different phases. But the other easy path that I was looking at was this one that has no retreat and no surrender, which is kind of weird. You'd think, well, no retreat's hard. But since this node's here, also, you're not going to be taking a lot of degeneration damage. So this is also a fairly easy path that goes from this superior Iron Man over to here. And then you go, where is it? Up to the Symbiote Supreme. So I just used Human Torch and Doom. That's probably what I'm gonna be trying to do for the Gwen Master next. All right, sorry, my screen froze there for a little bit. But anyway, I was gonna say, make sure you do not choose the um, node for the Gwen Master that will give her masteries. So basically it's this Red Skull node once I click it, because I was a stupid head for looking at the wrong one. There it is. Okay, so it's called Gwen Mastery, and it will give her willpower, limber, misc dispersion, and parry. So it's just really annoying. Definitely go for that last and try to avoid it at all costs. So that is going to be it for my basic rundown. Just super quick uh, guide to initial completion of 7.2. Uh, after I explore it, I'd be happy to do separate quest breakdowns or just each one, so 7.1.1 breakdown and on. And then also let me know if you want to see a full Gwen Master guide because I'm getting pretty familiar with the fight and hopefully I'll be able to have a solo up by the end of the night. So that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, you do not have to subscribe, but I really do appreciate all you guys have been doing for me recently. It's been really cool to watch. So I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.